How's it going everyone? Welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up a VPN on your devices in minutes. Now, of course, the first step here is to actually choose a VPN and the ones are gonna be ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. All three of these have lightning fast speeds, audited no logs policies, plenty of obfuscated servers, and all the necessary security features such as the kill switch. But of course, they still vary in budget and features. So I'll briefly go over them a bit later in the video so you can pick the ones that work best for you. And of course, if you'd like to check out any of these VPNs for yourself, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews use in the description down below. All right, so let's kick this off with the PC setup and I'll be using ExpressVPN to demonstrate as it's the most secure, easiest to use, fastest at connecting and disconnecting from servers and it's generally my go-to VPN for pretty much anything. That said, this process is pretty universal with minor differences here and there in the installation process. Okay, first go to your preferred browser and type the name of your VPN plus download in the search bar. In our case, we'll look for ExpressVPN download and click the first link that pops up. Here, if you don't have a subscription, you can click the get ExpressVPN now button which will take you to the subscriptions page and you're gonna have to choose one of the three plans with a big discount on the yearly plan. All right, once you've gotten a subscription and you're good to go, you're gonna be redirected to your account page where you can select the platform you wanna download it on. In our case, we're gonna be downloading it on Windows. So we're gonna click this Windows icon right here to start the download. Once the download is done, click on the installer and follow the instructions on the screen, which are going to be pretty simple actually. As you can see here, it's just a bunch of agrees and continues, and you can disable notifications if you like, and that's pretty much as far as installation goes. Now, to sign in, you're going to have to find your activation code, which should be available either in your email or on your ExpressVPN account page. So just copy it, go back to the ExpressVPN app, click on sign in, paste the activation code, and hit continue. And with that, your ExpressVPN app is fully installed and set up. As far as settings go, and this goes for the other two VPNs as well, the default settings are gonna be your best option if you're a beginner or even intermediate. The only thing I would recommend adjusting here would be your protocol and setting it to the fastest performing protocol depending on your VPN. That would be Lightweight UDP protocol with Express, Nordlinks protocol with Nord, and WireGuard with Surfshark. Once you do that, you're gonna be all set to use your PC, whether you're on Windows or Mac. Okay, so that's as far as PC goes, and when it comes to mobile devices, the setup is actually much simpler. Whether you're on Android or iPhone, go to your app store, look for Express, Nord, or Surfshark, and then download the app. Once the app is done downloading, open the app, sign up, and change your protocol just like earlier, and you should be good to go. Oh, and keep in mind that if you download NordVPN on Android, you get a seven day free trial. And if you download Express and Surfshark on either platform, you also get a seven day free trial. Nonetheless, with all three VPNs, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive them for 30 days and claim your refund if you're not satisfied with the service for whatever reason. All right, now if you happen to have a device that does not support VPNs, there are a couple of methods you can use to set up a VPN connection on them regardless. The first method here is to install the VPN directly on your router. And you're gonna have to check whether or not your router supports VPNs in the first place. Now, most modern routers do support VPNs, but you can verify this in the user manual or by logging into your router's admin panel. If your router is compatible, the next step is to download the VPN configuration files from your VPN provider, which are usually found in your account dashboard. In the case of ExpressVPN, you can find those configurations by signing into your ExpressVPN account, going to the setup page, clicking on manual configuration, and then selecting the configuration of the VPN server you'd like to install on your router. Once you have those downloaded, log into your router's admin panel, which you can do by entering your router's IP address into your browser and look for the VPN settings, which might be under the advanced or security section, depending on your router's interface. Here, you'll need to upload the configuration files and enter any additional details like the server address, as well as your VPN username and password. After saving the settings, your router will start routing all of your internet traffic through the VPN, which means every device connected to your network, whether it's your smartphone, console, smart TV, or laptop, will benefit from the VPN's encryption and IP masking. Now, in case you don't want to install a VPN on your router and force a VPN connection on all devices, you can instead create a VPN hotspot using your computer. So to set this up, the first thing to do is connect to a VPN server with ExpressVPN. The closest VPN server to me is the Madrid server. So I'll go ahead and connect to that. Now, if you're like me and you're using a Windows PC, Head to your settings by pressing Win plus I, then navigate to the network and internet section and find a mobile hotspot. Here, you're gonna need to turn on the mobile hotspot option. And under the section that says, share my internet connection from, select your active internet connection, which is usually Wi-Fi. Oh, and you can even customize the network name and password by clicking on the edit option. Okay, so once you're done with that, your Windows PC will function as a VPN hotspot and any device that connects to this network will automatically be using the VPN connection. Now, for those of you on Mac OS, the process is a bit different, but just as simple. Click on the Apple in the top left-hand corner corner of your screen, then click on System Preferences. And then in the left tab, click on General, then click on Sharing. You'll see an option for internet sharing. Select that. Before you turn this on, there are a few things you need to do. You cannot use your computer's Wi-Fi connection and share the same Wi-Fi connection for a hotspot because the Wi-Fi can only connect to one thing at a time. 
So we have to share the Mac internet using a network cable, an Ethernet Cat5 cable as it's called. So first, click on your Wi-Fi in the top right corner. Don't switch off the Wi-Fi, but disconnect from whichever Wi-Fi network you're connected to. Once it's off, you'll see it goes gray. Leave Wi-Fi turned on and then go back to internet sharing and click on the I icon to the right of internet sharing to configure the connection and sharing network that we're going to set up. Once you've clicked on the I, it will bring up sharing options. Leave the on off button at the top off for now. When you look at share your connection from, we can't, as I said, share it from Wi-Fi if we are connecting to the internet with Wi-Fi. So we have to change this to ethernet adapter, network adapter. EN3 is fine 99% of the time, so choose that. That means you have to physically take an ethernet cable, plug it into your Mac and connect it to either your fiber box or your modem slash router. That's how you will connect to the internet from your Mac. Once you've done that, you can then share the Wi-Fi and allow other devices to connect to your hotspot via Wi-Fi. So turn on the Wi-Fi and you'll see as you turn it on, it asks for your computer username and password, the administrator name and password. You'll then see on your screen, the configure and internet sharing network tab. It will have everything filled in, but if you wanna change the name or password, you can or if there is no password, you can just put in one that you will remember. Channel 11 and security, you can leave at whatever default is chosen. So we've essentially created a Wi-Fi hotspot and that's it. Now you can then go to the top and click on the on off button. A warning that you're definitely sure you wanna share your internet pops up, click turn on and that's it. You can see everything is grayed out so you can't change anything as it's actually sharing now. Click on done and close the window. You now have a hotspot, so if you go to your other devices or whatever you want to use, you can pick up your Mac hotspot under the name of your Wi-Fi network that you created. Once you turn on ExpressVPN on your Mac, anything that connects to your computer that you're sharing your connection with will get all the benefits of ExpressVPN, giving you the extra security, privacy, and changing of location. All the ExpressVPN settings will apply to your hotspot network. Now that your ExpressVPN hotspot is up and running, it's time to connect to your other devices. Go to the Wi-Fi settings on your console or smart TV and find the network name you set up, enter the password and connect. Your devices should now be securely connected to the internet through your computer's VPN, giving you that extra layer of security and privacy. And that's pretty much how you can set up ExpressVPN on any device within minutes. Now, I don't wanna make this video any longer than it already is, so I'll just briefly go over all three VPNs to help you see which one works best for you. But if you'd like to know more about them, you can check in the in-depth reviews I'll be leaving in the description down below. So starting with ExpressVPN, this is gonna be the one I recommend if you're looking for the easiest to use, most secure, and best performing VPN when it comes to connecting and disconnecting from servers. It also it honestly feels like an Apple product given how secure it is and how intuitive the interface is. It almost feels like it's part of your device and not just some third party app. As for my second recommendation, we've got Nord. If you're looking for a VPN that gives you a lot of bonus features, as well as the maximum number of countries you could possibly get with a VPN at 111 countries. Besides that, thanks to the Nordlinks protocol, Nord has become arguably the fastest VPN in the industry, and this makes it a great option for streaming, torrenting, and gaming. So as far as performance, security, and feature variety, NordVPN is an incredibly well-rounded VPN. As for Surfshark, it's gonna be the best budget VPN. Not only because you can share it with as many friends and family members as you'd like, thanks to the unlimited simultaneous connections, unlike Express's eight allowed connections at a time and Nord's 10, but you also get a lot of value with Surfshark, especially if you get the one plan, which comes with a fully fledged antivirus, as well as many cybersecurity tools that would enhance your overall security and privacy. And even then, the one plan would still cost less than most other VPNs that don't even offer half of what this plan gives you. So if you're looking for the best budget VPN that packs a lot of value, you, Surfshark is right up your alley. And so that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use the links in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible and check out the full reviews as well if you want to know more about these VPNs. Besides that, like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.